This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 24, November, 2017. Papua New Guinea police remove 40 refugees from the closed Manus Regional Processing Center, and over 300 refugees remain. The PNG authorities have cut food, water and electricity and have told the remaining men, they are squatters on Defence Force property. Under a controversial policy, Australia has detained asylum seekers who arrive by boat in camps on Manus Island and Nauru, a small Pacific nation. Australia's Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said his nation would not be pressured into accepting the men, reiterating a long-held policy that such a move would encourage human trafficking. Explosions and gunfire are heard in the Georgian capital of Tbilisi amidst counter-terrorism operations. One security guard was killed and three terrorists were killed. Nino Giorgobioni, deputy head of administration at Georgia's state security service, said later on Wednesday at a news conference that one suspect was arrested during the operation and three others were killed. An investigation is underway within the framework of international anti-terrorism cooperation to confirm their identities and to determine their criminal links. Ratko Mladi, the former chief of staff of the Bosnian Serb Army during the Bosnian War, is found guilty of genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity by the International Criminal Tribunal, for the former Yugoslavia, and is sentenced to life imprisonment. More than 20 years after the Srebrenica massacre, Mladic was found guilty at the United Nations Spot International Criminal Tribunal, for the former Yugoslavia in the Hague of 10 offenses, involving extermination, murder and persecution of civilian populations. Lebanon Prime Minister Saad Hariri arrives in Beirut, for the first time since announcing his resignation in Saudi Arabia more than two weeks ago. Mr. Hariri denied speculation that Saudi Arabia had forced him to depart as part of a regional power struggle with Iran. On Saturday, Mr. Hariri flew to Paris where he met French President Emmanuel Macron, who has been trying to broker a way out of the stalemate. While in France, Mr. Hariri vowed to return to Lebanon to take part in independence celebrations on Wednesday, adding it is there that I will make known my position. After meeting President Aoun,